pick up your glass. <laughs> Do as I say. <laughs> Cheers, it's been 10 years. How are you, Kim Stokes? Cheers, it has. And about time you shouted <laughs> me a wine. <laughs> Stay tuned after the pre after the promo. We're going to have a chat to Kim Stokes about a project she's working on. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. The beautiful Kim Stokes. How are you today, Daryl? That's a hard sell. <laughs> that's hard for me to keep up to that. I'm now on TV. Normally, I'm a, a voice person. So, but thanks anyway. Okay, no you must have had more wine before I turned up. <laughs> <laughs> I only had one. Um, we're at the beautiful Moose Bar and you've never been here before. I haven't actually and I'm loving it. I mm. love the day yeah. for. I just love the feeling of it. It's beautifully relaxed and nice place to come. Yeah. Aaron and um, his family have done a great job with this mm. this year in the Walton stores. If you haven't checked out the Moose Bar, do so. So quickly tell me, there's been a lot, you and I had coffee. We um, both had our eyes welled up. We were talking about things that mm. have happened in our lives. but. Monday the 10th of June, something really exciting happening. Tell us what's going on. It is very exciting and firstly thank you for welcoming me mm. to your show, your network, I appreciate that. Monday the 10th of June I'm doing a little project which is called the Bus Ride of a Lifetime yep. and thanks to Stone Street Coaches and Phil we're going to jump on a Stone Street coach yep. or some of us will walk slowly uh, at our age uh, but we'll get on the coach and we're going to go down to Health Enterprises at Eagle Farm. Okay, yep. We're going to do a tour of there, we're going to have a keynote speech by Carney Liddell who is an amazing yep. woman. Former Fabulous. para, para, para athlete. Yep. Yes, para yep. athlete she yep. indeed is yep. and also NDIS ambassador for Queensland, yep. she's on Channel 7, she's yep. on radio, she's everywhere. Yep. But a fabulous story to share. So we're going to have a close personal audience with her. Morning and afternoon tea. We're also going to see the McIntyre Centre, the Writing for Disabled Centre on the way back to Toowoomba. Beautiful. We'll be back here by 2.30. This is going to be a fabulous, okay. fabulous day. Look, get your tickets from Sticky Tickets yes. and look for a bus ride of a lifetime. Yes, the bus ride of a lifetime. Yep. Take a look. We can only fit 50 on the bus. Okay, yep. Yep. So please get in and get them. It's $65 a person. I do want to emphasise that no one is making money out of this. Mm -hmm. This is just to cover the cost. Any profits will go towards the Disability Awards, yep. which started right here in Toowoomba in 2012. Yep. So they'll go towards that. It's merely a fraction of the price of what you should pay for everything that's included. Mm -hmm. But we want you on the bus 7.15am Stone Street Coaches on Monday. But you've got to buy your ticket. So Kim, what inspired the bus ride of a lifetime? This is actually a really hard one for me to talk I about, but I, I want to be honest and transparent because mm -hmm. that's just the way I am. I have a nephew who a couple of weeks ago woke up and was partially paralysed. Down the yep. right side of his body, couldn't feel a thing. Yep went to the Toowoomba Hospital by ambulance, yep. stayed there for probably nearly a week, was treated, tested. They found a lesion on his brain, yeah. which we're still not sure whether that might represent as um, a particular type of migraine that has neurological defects or whether it could be MS. So that's um, a process. Okay. But the point is, we had a conversation and what he said to me was, Aunty Kim, I don't know what my life would be like if I couldn't work. Yeah. And I'd been to health enterprises twice before. Yep. And I said to him, you know what, you'll have options. And that's really was the inspiration for okay. me. I just thought, I've been there a couple of times before. I've taken people like Gay Hole, one of my good friends from Jazzy Lane. Gay from Jazzy Lane. She's amazing. She's and good. we're very, very passionate about inclusion in community. And yep. I thought, you know what, I need to take more people. Yep. More people need to see this. And I think, Daryl, if I may just say, I come across a lot of people who are very frightened about having people with a disability in mm -hmm. their workplace, yep. business owners who perhaps just don't quite understand what that involves and what yep. that means. This is a wonderful executive team that you're going to meet down there mm -hmm. and they're going to give you some pearls of wisdom that you can bring back Good. to put in your own organisation. There's great music here at the Moose. It's fantastic and we've been trying to sing the songs of the old days, missing a few words, yeah. but that's probably because yep. back then we also had a few shards. That's right. so, <laughs> No. So listen, 10th of June, Monday, this Monday, get your tickets from Sticky Tickets. Yes. And look, you can even ring Kim, give her a call, and if you're uncertain, just give her a buzz and have a chat to her about it. I'm yeah, look for me on Facebook. I'm yep. just under Kim Stokes, and I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. I think the most important thing, Daryl, is that I know people are busy. I yep. know they've got yeah. full lives. Yep. I wish I could put into words how you'll see what you'll see, how you'll feel yep. when you come on this trip. I just want to guarantee you it's going to be worth it and I'd really love you to join me. Monday the 10th of June, get your tickets from Sticky Tickets. 
again, Kim, thanks for coming on the show. I really do appreciate it. And cheers again. Pick up oh. that glass. If Pick I up. have mine too close to the camera, you'll see how much I've had. <laughs> yeah, you have cheers. Half glass. Thanks but, uh, for look, having Thanks me. for coming on the show. And get those tickets from Sticky Tickets, a bus ride of a lifetime. And watch this space. This lady's amazing. And from the 1st of July, uh, we're going to rock this city, okay? We're going to do some stuff, okay? See how we go? Daryl's in charge. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Take care, Toowoomba. From one Toowoomba advocate and another. Take care. We'll catch you soon. Bye now.